The Daily Show's Trevor Noah, Trump is the new Cosby, only he bragged about it. Trevor Noah opened Thursday night's Daily Show with breaking news from the presidential race. Brand new policy proposals have just come out from Donald Trump, where he spoke but then he stopped himself and said, just kidding, it has some more sex stuff. Yes, people, in the last 24 hours, six women have come forward with their personal stories about allegedly being assaulted by Donald Trump, Noah added. And who would have thought the guy who says he forces himself on women actually forces himself on women? I guess he really does tell it like it is. But instead of turning his ire on the candidate himself, Noah focused on the surrogates whose only job is to defend him on cable news. So far, their main argument has been that the whole thing is nothing but he said, she said. You have to admit, these guys are not totally wrong, Noah said. This is a version of he said, she said. Only in this case it as he said, she said, then she said, then she said. Oh, and most importantly, he said he did it in the first place. He said, he said. He said it himself. In fact, it was the video of Trump escroping boasts and his subsequent denial at the second debate that he did the things he said he did that made the women speak out in the first place. One of the most specific and painful details in the various stories came from Jessica Leeds who told the New York Times that Trump lifted the first-class armrest between them and reached up her skirt. That is all Trump spokesperson Katrina Pearson needed for the most ridiculous excuse you will ever hear, Noah said, before showing the clip of Pearson's claims that the first-class seats at that time had fixed armrests. Ladies and gentlemen, you will find bullshit here and here, right over here, right over here, Noah said, imitating a flight attendant. You know how you know your argument is ridiculous when every single person on the panel is trying not to laugh at what you were saying. Including you. He added, Johnny Cochran would be so proud. If the armors don't teeth flip, you must acquit. But Trump isn't even counting on people believing he didn't he group women, because his strategy in this campaign is not to prove he is not a bad person but rather to show he is in good company, Noah added, pointing to the campaign as stated attempt to turn Bill Clinton into Bill Cosby.